I'm going to show you how to get your website ranked on Google and take search engine optimization SEO a little bit more seriously. It's really simple and easy to create a website and you can use lots of optimization tools. But if you don't think very carefully about the keywords you're using and how you place them on your website, it's not going to massively help you. What you've really got to stop and consider is what are people going to be searching for out there? You might have a website to do with landscaping or maybe you're a website designer. What are the keywords you're putting in? And if you put keywords that are very generic or very broad, you're just going to get lost in the noise. And for anyone that thinks, well, I'm just going to ride my luck and get my website out there and hopefully my friends and family will help me get found, you are making a big mistake. The more seriously you take SEO, the much higher chance you have of attracting clients and customers. And we're not going to go through everything about search engine optimization. There are other tutorials for that and we will be expanding on this series over time. But let's just focus on the key words. Start thinking about them before you actually build your website. In fact, at the point when you are now creating your content, when you speak to a client, don't just say to them, hey, give me your images and your wording. Start saying to them, have you thought about your keywords and how are you going to interject them into your wording? Make it sound natural. Because if you try and fit in the keywords after you've built the website, you're going to end up redoing your headlines, your text and lots of things. And that then means you're spending longer building out the website. Now, let's be clear. Keywords are not singular or two word combinations. They can be key phrases. It's very common for web designers to use the keyword web designers, but you could expand on that and say web designer specializing in small businesses, web designer in New York. That is, a, that is acceptable as a keyword. It is a phrase. The first thing is to think about your business or the service you're offering. Are you a landscaper? What do you do? That's going to start to influence what your keywords are. If you don't understand your services, your offerings, then you're going to struggle. So take a step back. And this is quite important when you are having those first few conversations with your client. Let's pretend I'm looking for a web designer and I go to Google. What would I search for? Would I just put in the word web designer? Maybe web designer in Leicester? Maybe Leicester Shire? maybe web designer near me, or maybe I'm being really specific, web designer, small business, web designer, landscaping. Because what you're going to find is that when we are searching for things, a lot of it depends on our frame of mind. So am I just generally browsing like web designers because I want to get some inspiration maybe on what people are doing or who's out there? Or maybe I'm researching like I want to know a bit more about can a web designer help me? Can a web designer help my business to expand? Or maybe you're being a lot more specific, like you really do want someone, but you want them to be close to you. So web designer in Leicester. Now, when it comes to conversion, you're really after the ones whereby they're a little bit more specific because when people are being a bit broad, they're going to probably open about 10, 20 tabs and just kind of pick whoever they like the look of or sounds really great. Whereas people that are generally searching for something specific, if you're quite high in the ranking tree and you show off your services and you're very transparent with your offerings, there's a higher chance they might contact you. Now, when it comes to generating your keywords, there are lots of tools out there. There's loads of places you can go and platforms. I used to use SEMrush a lot. However, you now have to kind of upgrade to the premium version if you want to get more tips. However, if you do go over to SEMrush and you got the keyword magic tool, you can go over there, but it is very limited in some of the results. So I'm going to show you another tool and the link is in the description. It's completely free to go and use this. It's a free keyword research tool and it is completely free to use. Don't worry about that. What's really cool about this is you go and pop in some words and it starts to generate some ideas for you. I'm going to change my location to be United Kingdom and I'm going to type in web designer Leicester and hit go. And this is really quick on returning values for you. So this is showing me that web design Leicester has a volume of 480. That is roughly how many searches are occurring per month. So that has got a very high hit rate or search rate. However, the difficulty is set to very high. That means Loads of web designers in Leicester are using that. But if you scroll down here to web design Leicestershire, that is low. Now, 
there's a higher chance that you're going to get found. I mean, it, it's not fully predictive, but there are only 50 roughly per month searching for that, but there is a higher chance of being found. Now, I would recommend that you go for Web Design Leicestershire and Web Design Leicester as well, but you also expand on that to try and be a bit more specific or nicheify down into some of the areas where you do offer services. But how can I help myself out? Because the difficulty is very high. Click the light bulb and what it's gonna do is open up some general ideas. I'm gonna go for the very first one, Web Design Lester. What it does is it takes that word and it starts to generate ideas because what you need to do is use those words to generate headlines or headers that you can use as your blog titles, but not just for your blog or articles either. These can be headers on any page. They could even be on your homepage. You might have a keyword, the main keyword assigned from the homepage, but you could have another header somewhere on the page, which is something like 10 tips for a successful website designer in Leicester, the latest trends, how to choose the right web designer. Don't get me wrong, this does not mean overnight success. You've got to put a bit of work in. But if you imagine you've got a homepage and then further down on the homepage, you might have a section saying something like, what do we offer? Maybe you need to change your wording because there's a higher chance that someone might be searching for something similar to that. And it means there's a higher chance that your page can get found. Now, I've mentioned the homepage. That's not a blog. So what if you don't do any blogs? How is your homepage going to help you? Well, here's where you need to start thinking about what you do on the page. So let me show you right now, really quick and easy, some tips of what you can put into place. The first thing is on your page, like I've already stated, somewhere further down, you might be using some of the keywords or the phrases that we've already mentioned. And of course, use them to help influence any blogs or articles. You don't have to do a blog every day, okay? Maybe just have five or 10 maximum, but really hone in and make them as long as possible. Don't make them short, make them expansive. Make Google see that you've really gone to town on them. Stick videos in there, stick images in there. Always, always, always make sure your keywords are in your H1 tag or your H2. You know, when you do a heading and you can assign it. H3, not so much, but H1, H2, definitely. If you are using any of these keyword headers, like five web design trends for Elemental or WordPress or stuff like that, H3 is okay as well. Also make sure that the first couple of paragraphs where you actually now have some text, you know, like the text editor or your body, make sure you stick your keywords in there as well or phrases, but make it sound as natural as possible. Don't start off your text editor with web design Lester is what I do. No, make it, try and weave it in. And it's okay to have the words like web designing in Leicester. That's okay as a key phrase, okay? That's more easier to weave in. But here's the one thing a lot of people don't do. I've got over here a home page in WordPress. And if I go to quick edit, you can see my slug. I'm gonna change the title and the slug of my home page to be my keyword. There we go. The slug has been changed as well. Make sure you put hyphens in lowercase. Now you're probably gonna say, yeah, but now that's gonna be visible on my menu. I want it to say the word home. Again, really easy to sort out. Go to WordPress, go to appearance, go to menus. I've added that new page in. I'm now gonna click over here and I'm gonna say on the page or the menu, display the word home. Now, as far as the sitemap is concerned, that keyword is part of your slug. Just to clarify, if my website was called webdesign.com and now it's got backslash forward slash whatever webdesign Lester, webdesign.com is still my URL. That is still my homepage, regardless of what the slug is. But what you've done is reinforced your keywords or phrases by putting it in as the name of the page and it's in your slug. You're missing a trick if you don't do this and Rank Math do actually have it as one of their tick items is the keyword in the URL. And a lot of people then start thinking, oh damn, does that mean I've got to put my domain name in? Unless your domain name contains your slug and it probably might maybe not do, that's not what it's after. Let me recap. There's loads of places where you can do research, but what you want to do is find the best tool that works for you. Some are premium, where you can do some keyword research. You can even just go over to Google and start typing web design and then just see what it results come out. And that's going to be a pretty good indication of what people are searching for. Make sure you get four or five really good key phrases, get them into your URL in terms of your homepage, 
Make sure you stick them in your H1, your header one, your header two, header three as well if you want, if you're gonna have them as like titles for areas on your page or maybe blog articles. Get it in the first couple of paragraphs and make sure you've included it inside the title and the alt title for your images as well. I hope some of these quick tips about keywords and SEO help you out. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring.